Uh, hi there, ladies and gentlemen. It's Miller Copeland from In The Grid Magazine. Uh, this is my second attempt at doing a video within the confines of Second Life. Uh, my first one was uh, an attempt to capture the public transit system at the Caledon Steampunk community. Uh, you can see that at YouTube as well. Uh, unfortunately, on my low-end computer, uh, I couldn't render the buildings as fast as a train was moving, so that video is mostly filled with big gray blocks. Uh, I thought for the second attempt, then, uh, I would uh, do something a little closer to home where I didn't have to move around as much. Uh, I recently redesigned the headquarters uh, for uh, this magazine, as a matter of fact, over on my little 512 square meters of land uh, off the South Continent. Uh, so I thought I'd give everyone a little video tour of the new headquarters as I walk around in my avatar form. Now keep in mind before this uh, uh, that I am an amateur video maker. The editing and effects are not going to be the greatest thing you have ever seen in the world. Uh, that said though, uh, I hope you enjoy. Uh, I'm going to do a little fade out and fade in each time we're ready uh, to go to a new floor. So uh, if everyone's ready to begin, uh, here we go. Okay, so here's the first thing that visitors see when they first teleport over to our headquarters. Uh, this uh, first floor space was sort of designed uh, for a couple of different ideas. Uh, one, to have uh, parties, uh, a place where people can interact in interesting ways. And then also uh, now a sort of a larger area uh, where I can hold uh, live events if I want to start having uh, live talks with artists and poetry events and that kind of stuff. I can sort of fit a pretty decent number here on the first floor. Uh, I wanted to deliberately sort of blur the line between outdoor and indoor space uh, here on the first floor. You can see here an example of that, the sort of waterfall that sort of cuts right through the middle of the uh, flooring. Uh, out here, uh, two or three people can gather and, and have a small conversation away from the sort of larger group. I wanted to create a couple of spaces like that here on the first floor. And then here, of course, is the only sort of pretty landscaping that I allowed myself to add to the space uh, since it takes up prims and I'm on a small space and need all the prims I can get. Okay, so now we're ready to head up to the second floor. And uh, like the previous version of uh, the ITG headquarters, uh, the second floor is basically a giant glass cube. Yes, because I like the idea of having a giant glass cube. Uh, and it's where we can hold... Uh, fashion shows and dance parties and things like that. Uh, here's one uh, little change I've made to the new version. Uh, a, a waterfall now goes all the way from the floor to the ceiling of the entire building. It just gives kind of a, a nice little sort of dramatic view. Although, as you can tell there, I've got a little finessing to do. Um, so like I said, uh, this is a little more of a formal space uh, to hold things like fashion shows and the like. Also, uh, if you play around with your camera controls here on the second floor, uh, like I'm doing here, uh, you can actually get uh, some pretty dramatic uh, views, and I'm, I'm pretty happy about that, considering uh, that this is a fairly small space, 512 square meters, the same thing as uh, getting uh, one's first land. Um, and uh, I think a lot of people discount uh, small amounts of land in Second Life, but uh, I, I like to think that uh, uh, what I'm doing here with the headquarters shows that you can do some pretty interesting things with small spaces. Um, now, of course, uh, to make sure that uh, people don't uh, fall off the stairway, uh, I also uh, put up a series of railings here. And then, of course, with the camera controls, you can go and take a sneak peek at what people are doing downstairs. And, of course, their chat bubbles uh, pop back up uh, to the second floor as well. Okay, so now we're ready to head up to the roof of the building using the infamous glass spiral staircase that so many people complain about. And I know it is a little difficult. It takes some finessing. Uh, once you're at the top here, though, you can see the origin of the waterfall, uh, a sort of spreading uh, river uh, that you can walk on top of, on top of the roof. Uh, one of the little sort of uh, fantastical elements uh, that you can do in Second Life. Uh, that view, by the way, that we're looking at would be much better if we were on a uh, more uh, expensive high-end computer right now. I've got my total draw distance down to the minimum right now to make the video smooth. Uh, and then over here, uh, a tip of my hat to uh, the fact that this is actually a working office. This is the only sort of office thing I have at the headquarters uh, to meet up with advertisers and My favorite part of the headquarters, however, is down here in the basement where I've constructed an entire underwater glass-walled lounge uh, just to fulfill all of my 
early 60s mod dreams, you know? And uh, frankly, I just think that the lounge is just groovy. And, uh, and I'm always trying to get people to come down here during the parties and hang out. Uh, as you can see here, uh, my neighbors have some pretty dramatic underwater views, as a matter of fact. Uh, it makes for a good place to go diving and scuba, uh, get on the scuba gear and that kind of stuff, uh, which is why I uh, sponsor that kind of events uh, as well uh, over here at the headquarters, at sailing events and things like that. Um, here's just a little sort of loungy sort of area I built down here. Uh, I've got some underwater landscaping to sort of aid the aesthetics of the process. And this is where people can just hang out and chat with each other while having a pretty view, you know. Uh, I've also put in a brand new room back here uh, since the last update. Uh, this is what I'm calling my sort of a dive portal, I suppose you will. Uh, and the reason I call it that is because that uh, waterfall you see there uh, is actually uh, semi-transparent. It means that an avatar can actually walk through it uh, without water coming in into the building. Uh, and uh, it's just one of the sort of physics-defying things that happens in Second Life that I'm a fan of. So uh, if you want to go diving, for example, you come in this room, uh, change into your dive gear uh, like I just did uh, through the <laughs> magic of special effects. And then uh, all of a sudden, uh, you're ready to just uh, go walk right through the uh, waterfall and uh, go diving. Um, and I'll stop here for a moment and turn on my little animation uh, that comes with my scuba gear. Uh, I got this from Jumps Dive Shack uh, for free, by the way. Uh, it's really great dive gear. I love it. Um, so, um, <laughs> and then uh, if we turn uh, this way, we can get a better look at some of the uh, underwater landscaping that I've done down here and what the, uh, uh, the underwater lounge looks like from the outside. Um, Making landscaping down here is just as easy as uh, on uh, uh, above the water. Uh, you just plunk down plants wherever you want them and uh, twist and turn them to however you like. Um, we're doing a little uh, sort of pan here from outside. Uh, you can do this underwater as, as well as above water. Uh, that's kind of a cool look there of uh, extending the glass wall all the way down. Even though that's solid earth down there, I couldn't actually go visit, but it's a cool look nonetheless. Anyway, so that's the latest from here at In The Grid. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little video, and here's hoping I'll get another one up soon. Bye.